So, uh, managed to actually get everything out of the handlebars. You can see the bulby end there that I uh, trimmed. And then of course there was the inner tube assembly sticking out here with zip ties and stuff. Since the inner tube was leaky anyway, I didn't mind cutting that and I think you're probably going to have to sacrifice your inner tube anyway because you're never going to pull all those zip ties through. That was the other end. Um, because if you were pulling the zip ties everything through, you'd be pulling them through the peel ply, which was of course inside here, right? Like, it was jammed up in here. Now, I, for a few minutes, many minutes, thought that maybe I had screwed up by using this stuff. I knew that it wasn't going to pull out as easily as something like a slick plastic might, um, because the surface of the nylon has a tooth to it itself. In fact, that's why you use peel ply uh, when you're doing carbon fiber work, because it leaves behind a nice little woven uh, texture. You don't have to sand before you put another layer on. So um, I tried kind of poking in and around with like a, a spoke that I had, or a, it was actually a strut from a set of um, a set of fenders and it has a round end and a sharp end and I kind of pushed those in and managed to free this up and I tried twisting this to kind of peel it away from the sides right and that didn't get it done in the middle obviously those rods couldn't clear that corner then I looked down and I thought I am never going to get this out of here and I looked down and I saw this which is a zip it clog remover. These are really cheap. Uh, they work really great on clogs, but they've got a whole bunch as from the factory or the store, they've got a whole bunch of just cuts in here and they're barbs for pulling out a clog. Well, if I put those in here, I knew that I was going to get jammed in and I would never get the thing out. i would be stuck. So I ground those all off with a Dremel. And then this is a, basically this is like a really thick zip tie. If you've just had a long, super strong zip tie, you can use that. Um, so I pretty much just sort of shove this in doo -doo -doo, over and over again from different sides. As you can see, this just happens to be almost the length of the handlebars. So after enough of that, I grabbed this with the pliers. I was pulling and then, boop, it popped out. Incredible thing. I was hoping these would come in about 80 grams uh, after adding the extra. There were 52 grams to start with. They're super strong now, right? Because the join is not only wrapped, but it's got a layer of that. Let's see that. If it would focus, and maybe it won't. It's never going to. It's got a layer of this all the way on the inside. Uh, it weighs 64 grams. By the time I trim it, it's probably going to weigh about 61. No, 62, 63. Anyway, so we only gained about 12 grams. Pretty incredible. There was eight grams alone of carbon fiber, so we only ended up of the 12 grams of epoxy that went in there. Most of it ended up on the inner tube, on the peel ply, and stuck in the brush. So 64, let's call them 63 gram carbon fiber recumbent handlebars that are uh, really strong. I'm going to build them all this way, but I'm going to do a little more prep work to make getting this stuff out easier next time around.